Pat Marone. Hey, thanks guys for watching. I, I, I this is what this night's going to be like already. I, I'm still fixing. Pat Marone has discombobulated everything about me. I was so prepared, and then Pat came, and it's like a whirlwind came and took over. So I would ask you how your Thanksgiving was. So I say, um, what did you do for Thanksgiving? Um, had Thanksgiving with you. You're oh, at my you house. Yeah. Oh wow, that's cool. Um, I spent Thanksgiving with this guy right here. It was great. Yeah, talk about food. Let me tell you about this. Oh my lord, this cheesecake. This cheesecake. Okay, you're Fabulous. gonna. You're gonna all right, I thought you were gonna make fun of it. Okay. Fab no, I, I killed him all night. I killed him all night on, on his stuffing because, you know, he's like, hey, why do I got two trays left? Because nobody liked it. Nobody ate it. It was homemade. Everybody ate it. I mean, yeah, two big yeah, trays. Yeah, yeah, made two big. But it was, it was actually really good. Okay. I, I did. Did that I, hurt I, you to say that? I did. Because all night long you were busting my balls how horrible it was. They kept laughing. Tastes though. like cream cheese. Well, that's what it's made from. Well, yeah, but you're not supposed to taste the brand. You know, like, oh I tasted the you knew, brand. Because you knew it was Philadelphia cream cheese, right? Because I could taste it. You're such an idiot. I could taste it. And then he tried to say, but. But I, you know the funny part? He left with a huge metal tray out the door with it. Like, he was, like, struggling to carry it out the door. And I bet you ain't nothing left either. Why don't you tell the truth? I left with three trays. <laughs> That's right. <I> <laughs> you had a dessert tray. Too. I did. That's right. Listen, they fed me so much. Right, it, it, I had so much food, and then they had like six tables put together because you know they came with aunts, <laughs> uncles, cousins, everybody was there. They had these like six tables. They, one, they had so many tables, the other end of the table was dark. You couldn't see them. And you know, grandma, she's got that little light switch that really didn't. Send see them. down the stuffing, the stuffing, the stuffing. <laughs> <laughs> so we go in the living room. Frank vanishes. He goes and does his little cigar thing like he's Al Capone, and then. Uh, I had to pull out some magic. I go to the table, and that whole big table, it's full of pies. Like one after another. Homemade ice cream. Home, they're like, what do you want first? I said, you're kidding me, right? <laughs> I said, I'm going to have one of everything one at a time, please. Yeah, you didn't leave hungry, that's for sure. No, I, did, I didn't. I barely left, I, but I did. But it, so that's, that's what we did for Thanksgiving. It was pretty cool. I liked it. Yeah, I it was fun. It was Thank good having you. Very no, no worries. I you know, a friend of mine it. eats alone on Thanksgiving, bro. So, well, before we get started, we just want to send our condolences to Dan Romano and his family on the passing of his mother. Danny was so sorry, and uh, you know we love you, bro. And if you need us, we're here. Right here, you. buddy. Just give us a shout, man. Ed, did what this guy's going through. There's no worse feeling, man. I lost my mother when I was 20 years old, and to this day, it still hurts. So, it's, uh, I mean, it, not, never get over that. Not that you ever recover from losing, because I could tell you I have not recovered from my parents, and it's been like 15, 20, 25, but I, 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 you don't recover. Yeah, no. And there's always some days that make you think about it more. But this man is just in the process of recovering from losing his father. Um, and as a male, and from knowing what I got to know from listening to him. He was the matriarch of that family, you know, and to, to lose someone you looked up to. Yeah, absolutely. It's tough. And mom, mom's always the glue. Yeah, of course. Mom's always the glue. Of course. So, Dan, our condolences go out to We you, love you, brother, friend. and the best to your family. We're so sorry. Uh, so, you know what's been going on with Malter and I? Yeah, yeah, I've been following some of You've been seeing a I little mean, bit of that. I wasn't able to go to Jersey where you been. Uh, well, oh, it went down. <laughs> It went down. I think I might have shared the video with you. All right, let's uh, see it. I don't have that one today, this one. But I, I do have some. But Malta and I, we're, we're, we have to come to terms with this. We have to, like, find a way that we could partner up, work uh, together. Because after what happened <laughs> at Clifton, New Jersey, it, 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 there's no other way that it's going to happen. Is that we're just going to go at it and get it over with. Well, they're coming for our December 23rd are, show, are, too, so that coming. should be interesting. Stay so, tuned for that one. So hopefully, you Could know. It could be the Christmas massacre. I don't know. I, it, <laughs> what do you mean massacre? So let's get into to the wrestling thing, please. Sure. He, this guy, let me tell you, if something goes down, I know who the first one is <laughs> not going to be there. Okay. This guy's watch. If, if someone came right now, he'd go, oh, gone. Yeah, 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 with Frank. Yeah, Frank. Yeah. Frank, come on, he left, man, come out. Anybody that knows me knows better than that, but go ahead. So, Keep but going. I'm going to get into this wrestling thing. Uh, I'm going to show you a clip from an interview that I had with one of the wrestlers, um, Mad John. Mad John's a Jamaican wrestler, and he stormed into my set. And let me show you how this went down. So, that was pretty cool talking to one of the wrestlers who's about to get his ass whooped by the Malta. But I'm sure there's other wrestlers. What do you mean? 
Yo, Jimmy Jack. Yo, can I have Clifton, New Jersey? Can I have the mic? This is my show. Yo, back up, man. No, this is my show. Yo, what's up? Back up. Yo, back up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Make sure you hurry up. Hurry up. My goddamn microphone. Yo, Jimmy Jack. Tonight, Clifton, New Jersey. You want it? You're gonna get it. You're gonna ask for it. Done. You mind if I have that back now? I didn't even get to ask his goddamn name. He's so goddamn rude. Just come in while I'm in the middle of talking. You better walk away. That's great how tough you got when he walked away, huh? What do you mean? So that that's that's what are you talking about? I was he was there. I was just saying. You better have walked away. I got my mic back, didn't I? <laughs> See, th I'm, I'm glad that amuses you. So, <laughs> we, we, the, the match, you know, needed another opponent. And so, I, I got a chance to talk with Jimmy Jack Cash. And here's how that interview went. Here we are at Clifton, New Jersey. Bumped into a, yet another wrestler who's going to do damage tonight. But who are you fighting tonight? Jimmy Jack Cash. Myself is fighting... A guy named Mad John. Now I got a question for Mad John. Mad John, why are you mad? Hold that thought. Let me tell you why Jimmy Jacked Cash is happy. I'm happy because I make a lot of money. I'm happy because I'm jacked. I'm all that. <laughs> and I got the stacks to match. I'm also happy because the ladies love me everywhere I go. But see, on November 20th, tonight for NAX, Mad John. If you think for one second you could step to the most from coast to coast, Jimmy Jack Cash, you could just forget about it. Because the one thing that's going to make me the most happiest of it all is tonight when I get you in the ring and I toss you around like a rag doll. I toss that big Jamoke Mad John around like a rag doll. I do what they didn't think I could do. That's why they set this match up, of course, because he's bigger, because he's taller. But guess what, Mad John? Like I said, what's gonna make me the happiest of all is after I toss you around, I'm gonna pick you up for the best finishing move of the game. Don't forget about it. And I'm gonna tow you down for the one, two, three. <laughs> and that's <laughs> the fact. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> one take, catchphrase. He seems like he's ready for tonight. You know what? He doesn't know that. I was just about to elbow him right in his goddamn jaw. I don't care how big he is. Damn, did you see those muscles? I can't wait to watch this wrestling tonight. We'll be back. That was so, great. <laughs> that match, let me tell you about that match. We had introductions. Mad John gets introduced. Jimmy Jack gets introduced. Introduced, then how does that word go? Let me try that again. Jimmy Jack gets introduced. <laughs> and as Pat Marone's chuckling out there, I can hear him <laughs> laughing. And as Jimmy Jack has his back to the ring, Mad John comes down, boom, drops the elbow on him. Jimmy Jack falls, hits the ground, blows out his knee. Match didn't even get started. I stood, over him, I stood over him. I stood over him. How'd that go? Oh, he's not watching. But I did do that. You probably like wiping the tears out of your eyes. You didn't see. But so that's that. You know, <laughs> you get a good laugh out of this one. I got thumb on my tongue. It's just like really going great today. So we're going to get to some wrestling more. Uh, like, like it was mentioned by Frank, the 23rd December, we're going to get into a little bit more with those guys from NAX Wrestling. Um, and we're going to go to commercial break night right now. When we come back, I'm coming back with Jane Jones, winner of Dan Romano Comedy Show. Trinello Cigar is created by cigar enthusiast Michael Trinello of Scranton, PA. 
prides itself in offering top-notch cigars not only to the Pennsylvania market, but worldwide. Trianella Cigars is a proud maker of premium hand-rolled cigars, with a wide range of premium cigars, flavored cigars, and accessories, you're sure to find what you're looking for. Oh, we're back. We're back. And we just had another visit from Mopface. Oh, no, that's Pat Moreau. Yeah, he's got to stop coming in here. Um, here we are with Jane Joan, winner of the Dan Romano Comedy Show. First, Jane, I'd like to say thank you for coming and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me and thank you for being, you know, having me and... And being so encouraging that night too, Andrew. It was a pleasure meeting. Well, you got you you. Well, was, you were funny. You were funny. The guys, the comedians out there were funny. But Jane had a presence about her that she just stood up, and you know, was, and then when you, when you read like I did more about her, you, you kind of get the sense of things. And she was just like up there, and then she just started ripping jokes, and she just kept going. And we, we're going to get in a little more how you got to some of these jokes because okay. she just tells it like it. So you grew up in a family business? I grew up in a family pharmacy, and I was, I say I was brainwashed to be a pharmacist. And I don't know if anybody remembers the episode of the Flintstones where uh, Wilma and Betty wanted mink coats. And when their husbands were sleeping, they said, you will buy your wife a mink coat. You will buy your wife a mink coat. <laughs> I do remember that. Do remember well, that. my mom did that to me at <laughs> pharmacy. You will and be a pharmacist. Was, you will be a pharmacist. You will be a pharmacist. And actually giving, I, I could say that. she. My mom passed last month. and oh, sorry, uh, sorry. So I could say a lot more out now than I could when she was alive because I didn't want to really insult her. So you're her. not scared anymore is what I'm you're saying. You don't have to worry about being right, right. smacked. Right. 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 But then again, you know, she, who knows what could be coming <clears throat> from the afterlife. But <laughs> in, in the meantime, with no regard for what I may have wanted to do, and yeah. uh, being 60 years old, and um, I say I'm a pharmacist in remission. <laughs> pharmacist in, in remission. remission so so you, you, apparently that wasn't for not, you. Was not, no. it did not do it no. for me. So I read that you were married uh, a couple of times. Married a couple of times. You have no problem like explaining what that was like. Oh, well, first husband was a gambler, second husband was a narcissist. The funny part is that the gambler, you know, like that marriage broke up over $13,000. The second husband, who was actually the oral surgeon, you know, he, he lost close to $3 million. So <laughs> like, it's, like, where the heck did that come from, you know? Did you think, you know, this was going to last? I don't know. But um, <laughs> there, there were, there were other there. issues. Oh, were there? Were there? There were other issues. So you, you mentioned that you're 60 years young, we'll say. 60 years young, yes. So as, and you're just getting into comedy? And I am just getting into comedy. So this is actually, I started in um, the summer of 2019. Oh, wow. Started taking some classes, and I, it was a funny, funny story how I got into it. Friend introduced me on a blind date, you want to meet this guy, and... This guy said, you know, I'd like to take an improv class. I'd like to take a That was your blind date? Uh, like, we started speaking about it. Was it Pat this. Marone? It wasn't Pat oh, okay. Marone. Uh, and, but in the meantime, I ended up taking the improv class, and I ended up taking the stand-up comedy class, and I loved it. I actually loved both. I loved improv, and I loved stand-up, but I took the stand-up class, I think, more because I wanted guidance on how to write. And I ne wanted to be able to build a comedy set. I wanted to build an act. And that's what I got from, from taking a, classes. So when, when you first got the, the class, was your first set that you tried to do, was it a six-minute set? What, what did you well, do? five minutes. Five minutes was five the first minutes. one I did? Five minutes. Was it a struggle getting to the five minutes? Not with two ex-husbands. <laughs> a no. lot of material. So no, <laughs> that, that, that was one of the things I was yeah. getting to. Yeah. Um, a lot of the information, or I shouldn't say information, the material for your jokes happened to come from others' misfortune? It, no, not only <laughs> misfortune. Uh, you know, my, I have three kids. I have three children. And so they give me quite a bit of material. Um, this isn't in my set, but, I, uh, you know, I... 
I said this, you know, a lot of time. If you walk in my house and you find me drop dead on the floor, that means everybody in my house said, yeah, Ma, whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, Ma, whatever you want. Whatever you want. Because, you know, when you ask your kids to do something, it's, it's always now. Do you want me to do it now? Well, no, no, I want you to do it tomorrow. That's yeah. all, you know. All right, cool. I'll get back to you. I'll get see, back to see, you. See, my dad, because, yeah, I mean, now, now? No, tomorrow. All right, then um, let me know what... Boy, you better get over here. Yeah, it's deep voice. Yeah. Boy, you better get over here. So you mentioned that your kids... Did I see somewhere that your daughter is Miss Staten Island? My daughter was Miss Staten Island. She was Miss Richmond County, actually. Let me get that uh -oh. correct. So Is that my, how you guys do it over there? Well, That's like it's, another part of the is, world. Well, it is Richmond County, and it is Staten Island, and they actually usually have two titles, a Miss Staten Island and a Miss Richmond County. Is that so they can have two winners? Like so everybody they can have two award? winners. Well, no, actually, <laughs> everybody because then award? they can send two girls to Miss New York. Because then when you win uh, so a local stacking. title, double a chip, when you so win, you guys are openly cheating. It's not <laughs> openly cheating. cheating. It's like, not cheating. So, so, so They're looking for, they uh, want okay. more people to go to the, the state is. level. But you need more people from Staten want, Island to represent you guys. They want You're openly more, cheating. In general, they want more people at This the is state Frank. You see, you see how he scoots down more and more and yeah. he starts scratching his head. But I don't care because I tell the truth. I'm not scratching. You don't, I'm sliding you in don't the chair. rattle me. I'm a girl <laughs> born and bred in Brooklyn. It takes a lot to rattle me. All right, cool. Takes a lot. 60 years old, three kids. You know. Now, let me ask you a question. Did you always, I mean, you said you went to an improv. Did you always, in the back of your head, want to be a comedian? No, or never, Or you just kind of ever. fell into it? I fell into it. Were you the funny mom growing up or thought you were funny? I, you know, no. I did not think I was the funny mom growing up. But somewhere along the line of raising the kids, I kept saying, this has to go in a sitcom. This has to go in a sitcom. Like, I kept saying the things that were happening around us. I knew were funny and I knew you know when you watch shows and I go back to Mad About You um, you can go back to Good Times I mean come oh, on I that, that, that revolved that. around the family dynamics yep. of but you came home you respected that family you were at that dinner table and even you know even all in the family that took place around the table. Everybody yeah. loves Raymond around the table. I love that. And around my table, there was a lot of, a lot of laughter, and but there also was a lot of heartache, and oh, a lot man. of crazy. And so, I think that's what's missing nowadays is that family dinner on a Sunday. You know, everybody's sitting around just mm -hmm. at least like we tried to reinstate it in my house. It lasted like about three weeks. Yeah, and, uh, I, I, I you know, remember that was it. Yeah. My my big one was. Uh, the weekends, uh, especially, is when we really get, had the dinners. But breakfast, uh, Saturday morning breakfast, mm -hmm. the home fries, the grits, the bacon, the eggs. That that's well. That's, you see it now. I mean, you go out to dinner and everybody's on their phones. Like oh, there's yes. nobody talks anymore. No, there's nobody. no. You know, I can, if my father was alive, he'd be smacking the shit out of everybody. Because everybody, yes. plus they, they, that, you know, I, yeah. if I wore my hat, he'd knock the hat oh, off. And goes, oh, what are you doing? What, what's with the hat on? That, yeah, that respect doesn't happen. You know, no. My, it's my, like, my grandmother would throw. She'd curse you out. You walked in the house with a hat on. See, you would, uh, you would one foot. Your foot, boy. What's wrong with you? I'm no goddamn man. Just take that hat off my house. And if you you, you put your second foot down, then <laughs> yeah. he was really in for it. Well, we grew up in an, an Italian household, so respect was somewhat just, a given. I want to say demand, but it wasn't. It was a given. It was a given. It was a given. Yeah. Yeah. And I raised my kids like that. If you don't respect me, you could find another yeah, place to live. Right, right, and, exactly. You know, some people say to me, they say, your kids, you know, the way they speak to you. And I said, I just never tolerated yeah. anything else well you know what's funny we had a conversation about that too it was like a lot of parents nowadays want to be their kids friends they want and I told my daughter my daughter's 26 going on 27 now and I told her I said I couldn't be your friend when you were younger I had to be your father now you know we, we can hang out we'd have a drink together we can be friends now is but that different then. for you so being, I'll like, tell you this mom? I thought when my kids were young so let's say five and six years old I had the fights then so if they wanted something and I couldn't, or I didn't think they should have it, I had the fight at five and six and seven. Because I said, if I don't lay down the law at five, six, yeah. and seven, 15, 16, and mm -hmm. 17 is not going to go well. No. 
So and, yeah, yeah. then <laughs> I was the mom that was at the in the car picking the kids up, listening to the conversations. And one conversation, this this as I'm saying this, I'll just share this. So the girls are all in the car, and they're saying, my grandmother doesn't like my mother, and my grandmother doesn't like my mother. And like three or four of us were already separated at that time. Right. And the kids, I don't even remember what grade they were in, third grade maybe, fourth grade. My grandmother doesn't like my mother. And then the last one goes, my grandmother doesn't like my mother, and my parents aren't even divorced. <laughs> They knew the difference. We, yeah. you know, who was separated? The yeah. mothers didn't like them, but the little one, you know, she knew. Yeah, my grandmother doesn't like my mother. And you think about it, how horrible is that? Yeah. How horrible yeah. is that? But that's what goes off because of the bickering, that, which we know a lot about, mm -hmm. right. um, that goes on in the house. Yes. So, so that's that's why it's like I, I'm I'm divorced, but my kids have never seen my ex-wife and I argue, or never seen and they, they never, oh. we never raised our voice. They've never seen any of that, and that's kind of important to have that. So your kids don't go up with a, like, do I, do I talk to mom? Do I talk to dad? No, nah, it's cool. It's important. Got to do it. Yeah, I, I don't know if my kids have never seen it happen. Uh, a matter of fact, I know they have. <laughs> but, but I always explain the right and the wrong. Yeah. But I, and another thing is, I'm always there. Yeah, that's important. I'm as long as you're always there, that's the I'm thing that they're going to remember the most. Like, Pat's probably got a dog that wishes he didn't come home right now. <laughs> but that's another story. So as far as, far as the comedy, you know, going, what do your kids think about it? My, okay, so I determined that if I was not good at this, my kids would have told me that already. That's good. They would not have let me continue to go on like this. Though they did let me live with this horrible hair color and hairdo <laughs> that they, I, I, I looked at my my. Uh, driver's license picture. I said, you made me walk around like this? How come nobody told me I look horrible? <laughs> but they're pretty honest. If something is funny, it's funny. And if something is not funny, it's not funny. Mom, move on. Well, so. I appreciate you coming here. I'm going to have, we're going to do a lot more comedy things because this is like a comedy family between Dan, Michelle Aston, Disturbed and Confused, Tea Time, Teresa says hello, she's watching oh, from home. Thanks, Teresa. I uh, said so Amy Frank was watching. Hello, Amy. I haven't even gotten to this. But, Bruno, uh, you're watching. We love you, Bruno. Thank um, you, Do you, you, you want to uh, tell us where you're going to be, what you have coming up? So I have December 2nd. I am going to be out here at one of Dan's shows, uh, one of Dan Romano's shows, and I'll be at uh, McCann's Pub that evening. I'll, I'm doing a guest spot. And then I will be December 12th, the Sunday evening at uh, 7 o'clock. I will be at... The Library Cafe. Look and at that you night, go. I will be featuring, so I'll be able to really get into uh, my comedy, my stories, and I am just, I'm looking so forward to it. Dan, sending out deepest condolences. I lost my mom uh, last month, and I'm about to lose both parents so close together. Yeah. It's, it's heart-wrenching. It and, um, I mean, my mom does give, did give me a lot of, my comedy, you know, her stories and the things that she used to say to me. Uh, but it was my dad that gave me my sense of humor. Mm. It was my dad. Well, thank you to them. Thank you to you oh, for coming. Thank you. For coming on, we appreciate thank it. You, see, this lady drove you. from Staten Island. Parnell's coming on. He came from Jersey. No, he's out from here. We were wrong. He's in Hempstead. He's not Jersey anymore. This no is more. why I don't listen he's to not him. Jersey anymore. All right, we're going to go. Um, thank you very much, Jane, thank for coming Thanks, on. Jane. Best of luck to you and whatever you continue doing. And you know, we'll be there watching, supporting. Thank you so much. We're going to take a commercial break and come back, unfortunately, with Pat Marone. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, We're back. Welcome we to the Pat back. Marone Show. <laughs> I, I, didn't even, I didn't even get to talk. Um, I'm just going to kick back. The Beatles hey. had the Rolling Stones. Andrew Washington's got Pat Marone. Hey, this is Pat Marone. Take it well, away, Pat. You know, guys, just run the show. Go ahead. We'll just well, see. we got to get in closer to you over here. What's, what's going on here? I don't know. We're going to get you a matching, you matching over, shirt so to go move with. Move over. Yeah, so we can all oh, I in. get it. So we all can finish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not my problem if you like donuts more than the most. <laughs> Listen, don't you want to be centered? No, I don't. You're supposed to be centered. No. Frank is the center. First of all, you guys should have me in the middle. We don't know. I don't want do you next to You're missing half of my body in there. No, no you're in there. Shit. All right. We got most of it. All right, yeah, here we go. Like Come on, yeah. slide over. There yeah, you go. Look at now you're good. I'm, go. I'm trying to help you guys be more successful. Just, you're moving up the ladder. You guys are next year going to be competing against Gutfeld, <laughs> Kimmel, Fallon. I mean, you guys got a great show here. I mean, yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> so let me tell you. <laughs> Told you to be a good guess. the moment Pat walked in the door, he just hasn't stopped. It's like like nonstop, but it, it's all good. So am I allowed? Do I need permission so I can ask you how to, you know, speak? First of all, let me you tell you. You don't have to ask me how to speak. I speak regular. I mean, you can speak whatever way, way you want to. I don't care if there's a camera here. I will kick your <laughs> ass, man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> For now. Can you read what you wrote? Yeah, I can uh, read oh, it. Okay. I'm just trying to wait for him to breathe so I can talk to him. <laughs> so I mentioned to Frankie while you were sitting out, we were waiting prior to the show. I guess, yeah. is that our green room out there? I, don't know. I guess it is. Uh, yeah, it is. So, yeah. so it was pretty yeah. nice, right? Decorated. Decorated. So, uh, nice Annie Posh, you guys. Yeah, oh, so yeah, thanks. We treat our guests good. We, Come we, on, you get food, wine. Well. Very nice, yeah. yeah. Very nice. And he's not always here, so we don't have to worry about yeah. that. Very nice. Uh, Bobby ate everything out there, but it's yeah, nice. Yeah, I know. Nice. I know. That's for the guest. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, for everybody to know, hey, he's, he's the guy that sound. owns the studio. He's yeah. going to turn his sound down. Be quiet. <laughs> he's going to turn his sound down. Uh, so I was telling Frank, it was hard to talk to you prior, just because, one, anything I said, uh, you were just attacking but when I have questions that I want to ask you, yeah, it's hard you. to talk to you out there prior because I feel like I'm wasting all my questions. No, tell me, tell me. I said, stop shoot. using all your good material out yeah. there. Listen, we're running show. out of time. It's not asking. <laughs> all right, cool. All right. Because we have like a real guest coming on. We have Pernell coming on afterwards, so we want to just get through the show. Comedian, <laughs> actor, chef, <laughs> Pat Maroon. Uh, how, how did you get into comedy? Did this start when you were like came out of the womb? Did you, were you always a jackass like this? Or? I was always a jackass. Yeah. But I uh, became a professional jackass about uh, seven years ago. Oh, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I took a comedy. Well, I was at a club watching a co uh, comedy show, and uh, you know I do cooking demonstrations, so. I seen this. Do sign. you eat the food too? Obviously oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> but you think I got this way for nothing? I was just saying, a sampling. You're doing a cooking class. It's more like a sampling. No, session. I do cooking demos for seniors. You oh, know, we do oh. cooking a time with uh, with me. And what happens is, I, you know, I'm in front of audiences, and we try to make it have fun, and we have, we laugh. They get to the the sample the stuff. So as a comedy show, and I sort of sign comedy college, uh, help you could help you public speaking. And so I said, oh, you know what? I never did comedy before, but I always my friends always said I should be a comedian. So I, uh, I said maybe this will help me with my cooking demos, and I do cooking videos too. Yeah, and I said let sense. me take the class. So. Now was that Rich Walker's class or no? No, that was uh, uh, John Trusen's class. So I took that, and my first show I had forty people that I haven't seen since I was in school or in years. Mm -hmm. They came to my show. It was like two hundred twenty people. So I went on stage wow. in front of two hundred twenty people, and when I got that first laugh, it was like. It was like a drug. I mean, yeah, it was like, it, it was like I, I, I was like high. I try to explain that to people because uh, I was one who, I, I was not the one to speak in front of people. I, I hated being in the center of things. And then You're I still got, not. <laughs> then I got into the magic. <laughs> but when, when Is that what you call it? The, 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 that you type see of it, show, kid. You see how it's going? <laughs> but, but yes, the, the applause, the oohs, the ahs, when you get that, I don't care when I hear your mouth. When you get that, no, you're, you're very good. You. <laughs> so, ha have you ever been brought up on charges or, at all? Like from like, you, you work in a nursing home, right? Assisted living. Assisted living. Some people, you know, after they eat your food, has anyone? Not yet. No. Not yet. I so, pull a, I pull the plug on them. I take the oxygen. Is that, that the game you play? Yeah. Oh yeah. So Wasn't the food? It was a lack of oxygen. Where they start yeah. complaining about your food. You play. Let's kick the plug. 
<laughs> had nothing to do with the Rotini. No, nah, no, nah, I have a good relationship. I, I love working with the seniors. If it was young people like you, I would probably poison. <laughs> I appreciate that. I would right. probably poison. You probably you know? would poison. So not only um, you're a professional jackass, you said, yes. um, and you're, you're a lousy chef, <laughs> Um, but now you, you're actually going to be the, like the worst terrible actor now you're doing too? Yes, yes. How's that going? Well, you know what? I'm having fun with it. Yeah, you've, fun. you've done some pretty big things already though. Well, I was an extra in uh, Bronx Tale. I analyzed that and uh, another movie, The Sounding. And uh, I was just in uh, Me Familia 2 and now I'm working on a Sal Ranella film. I, I really and I got another one, Brooklyn Ties, I'm supposed to be Brooklyn in. Brooklyn Ties? Yeah, oh, really? I mean. yeah, yeah. So uh, do you do anything outside of the Italian... No, I'm typecast. Oh, you typecast. I'm typecast. Yeah. They, we call that stereotype. Yeah, stereotype. Well, oh. in the acting world, it's called typecast. Oh, is that what they yeah, do? Yeah, how to get around yeah, that? Yeah, professional. Yeah. You're professional. Yeah. You're doing good at that, though. I you, did the honeymooners too. Did you? I did the honeymooners right, in a play. Yeah, that was cool. I oh, saw that. I was going to say. I, I, play, was like, yeah. I played. Uh, I played Art Carney. Awesome. Um. He's waiting for it. He's waiting for it. He's waiting for it. He's like, oh, where's it coming? No, I, I was great because stick I, I'm move, a big buddy, Jackie, stick and move. I'll I'm, let big, you know. I'm a big Jackie Gleason. You're a fan, big so everything we, fan, buddy. Let's yeah, go. Keep I am. Going. I am. But it was it was very fun. It was. It no, was very I, fun. I, I like the. It was movie. very fun. It was it was bigly. No, it was fun <laughs> playing <laughs> Jackie Gleason. He was my. Uh, he, he was my uh, man growing up. I loved the honeymoon. It was a big honeymoon. Yeah. We were talking about that so before. It was, great, it was great to actually do it, and we did every line word from where we did the Christmas episode. So we did every everything word from word, Where even the mistakes, because we wanted to do it authentic. Wait, so we did it in Glen Cove. Really we had a guy, he built the set. Um, uh, what the hell's his name? Well, anyway, it's not the matter what his name is. He built Dementia? the set. He built it. We bought the set off him. We built the set. Ignored that one. Though. And we were going to do another. Yeah, I know everything you say. So <laughs> we're going to we're going to build. We were going to do another honeymoon this afternoon. And the COVID hit. We were going to oh, do yeah. my aching back. But we did the Christmas episode. It was yeah, really cool. COVID, COVID, yeah. COVID put a stop everything. to everything. Yeah, we did All four acting, shows. Everything. It was nice. Never did a live. Uh, actually, I had to remember everything. So oh. you know, when you do a movie, you can say cut and yeah, start. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this was like you know a lot of rehearsing and it was That's a lot of fun. To me, doing like Broadway stage type stuff is a lot harder than doing the the movies. That movies. would stress oh, yeah, me out yeah, because yeah, of the, I mean, you make a mistake, they yell cut, and you do it over. Yeah, yeah, when, you're when you're doing you're live, going, it's like yeah. I mean, well, that's great because the guy that played uh, Norton, we were, were big honeymooners fans, so we would sit hours and hours and rewind and play and rewind and, and then act it out. And do it he and, played that and, that and part it, spot on to that guy. Yeah, yeah. So he, he, looks, he were trying the to get the mannerisms perfect. down and everything. So it was a lot of fun. It was a lot That's of fun. cool. I, I look forward to trying to watch that. Is yeah. yeah, where can we find that? Can I mean, it it's not YouTube even or? on there. We, no? got, we they didn't. We should have took some good videos. So of it. was this the one clip I put? Is why my mother was in the audience taking the video. This so prior, that's, right, prior that's probably what to, I saw. Uh, the clip before COVID, yeah. Before VHS. Before COVID, yeah. No, I said before VHS. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was on yeah, that was good fun. That was funny, yeah. Just like your, <laughs> just like your magic. So, uh, yeah, that was... Uh, <laughs> this guy, man. This guy, you guys man. go shopping? Oh, no. You guys go shopping together? For Listen, we got a budget, pal. <laughs> I have a sponsor. I'm trying to class this place up, I have you know? a sponsor. It looks like the Carolina Panthers in black. Ken Cartwright, State Farm <laughs> Insurance, Patcho. Go check him out. That's yeah. my spot. No, they're, they're, you missed the flower on that nice, chest? Is that what it is? Nice. A lot of gay guys dress like that. <laughs> so, right, see now I all so, might have been laughing at him. Now he's picking on me. Oh, oh, oh about there we go. Before it was there like, we go. Pernell, where are you? Come here, Pernell. Let's I, get this I, guy I, off. I've known him all my life. He's never said I've anything. I've known him all my life. I've known him for a few yeah, years. He's yeah. always been a gentleman. Now not so much. So, so, so um, check your to tires try, when to you try, walk out. To try to get this back in, in, in a little concept of a professional show. You're into in your cooking. Uh, have you done anything? Um, Oh, just recently, I was in a. I went to Arizona. I was in a cooking competition. I can't say the name of the show, or the network. Uh, uh, or the network. So I was just in Arizona. They flew me out there. We filmed and uh, had a lot of fun. So it's going to be aired soon, so you guys can promote it when it's aired. And All right, so we'll have we'll you back let, on. We'll talk about it too. Will they give you a heads up because it's hard? Yeah, to yeah. Let, they'll let me know because it's hard to let people know because I know, can't promote what, it now. Right, right, right. Yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah, so, so we're going to show you something in the near future. We'll let yeah. you know when. Yeah. In the near future, just stay yeah. tuned. Yeah. There's another good reason to watch it. Well, um, before we, we, first, we're not going to go, but we're going to take a commercial soon, and uh, we're going to. We're going to take the commercial. Uh, well, we might take it um, somewhere far away from you, but um, you know, you're really, you're really, you're really good at what you do here. You really are. 
And then we're going to be. No, you're doing a great job. Then we're going to be printing a holiday. I was <laughs> waiting for it. There's, 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 there's got to be some back end <laughs> comment for Before that. Before we go to commercial. Let me tell you, one of the best. You, you really are so terrific. Unbelievable. Before we go to you, commercial break. You are, you, you are I want to show you. I love being on the show. What I found <laughs> when I did a little bit of research with my buddy Frank Correa. On the Correa? Pat Mahomes. Oh, Carrera. Carrera. <laughs> I, I it's only known for 30 years. Calls me Carrera. Um, here's a little surprise that I found. Oh, okay. Can you show that little secret footage that we have there? Okay, let's see it, yeah. Hey, you know, a few weeks ago we introduced you to a viewer who had a real way with a prank phone call. Well, lucky for us, he had a real way again. Let's check in with our buddy Pat from Long Island. Calling the uh, podiatrist office. Hi, how you doing? Um, I have a little bit of a problem. I don't know if you can get me in today. Um, have you ever been to the office before? Uh, no, I'm, I live in the neighborhood, and uh, I dropped the, uh, a cinder block on my toe, and it's a little swollen, and I wanted somebody to look at it. All right, come on down. What type of insurance do you have? Well, it's my big toe. Okay, what type of insurance do you have? Um, I have, um, Oxford. Okay. You don't need a referral or anything, do you? No, no. But, okay. uh, All right. but, but since it's a big toe, isn't it possible you guys can send me a tow truck? <laughs> <laughs> That was my mother's boss, uh. and, at, and at the end of that, in the real clip that I sent in, he called me at the end, he goes, you jerk off. He thought, he realized oh. <laughs> um, I came across another one. Uh, I don't have it. I, don't, I, I, yeah. I, don't, I didn't have this one set no, up. But the first one I was on. Was the pig's feet? Was the pig's feet. That was great. That was but, the one that kept problem, showing your the face. The problem is, that, that video, I had a chance to win the $10,000 prize. They called me up for an interview. They're going to fly me out to California, and they they love the video. So you did a half hour interview. So I was honest with them, and they you know I didn't know you had to be it had to be it couldn't be staged. So when I told them it was staged, we were playing golf. I got in the car. I called my friend. I told him just pretend you're a butcher shop, and he was. Uh. And I did the video. So after the uh, after the interview, they called me back. The guy says I got good news. I got bad news, Pat. He said, the bad news is that we can't use your video for the, for the contest because it was staged. The good news is the producers love you and they want to buy it from you. So they bought it for me for 500 for a little video I made in my car. I said, I'll take it. I took the 500 There you go. And then when I watched the video, they took, the reason why they bought it for me, they took my head and they made it come out of different spots. No, we saw that. that. Which I, saw I, I first watched that. I didn't expect the IP. Oh, I yeah. lost it when I saw it. Because I didn't hysterical. expect, you know, all the stuff. So it was a real cool experience. I showed my 10-year-old. He was hysterical. He <laughs> oh, no. himself watching it. Um, actually, that's the one I thought we had up. That's yeah. what I thought it was. Too. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where this was game from. Too, but whatever. I don't know where well, this was game from. That's all right. It's the tech. You guys just start now. Perno! <laughs> All right, we're going to take a commercial break and we're going to come back with Pat Marone and Pernell Holloway. <laughs> Torinello Cigar is created by cigar enthusiast Michael Torinello of Scranton, PA, prides itself in offering top-notch cigars not only to the Pennsylvania market, but worldwide. Torinello Cigars is a proud maker of premium and rolled cigars, with a wide range of premium cigars, flavored cigars, and accessories, you're sure to find what you're looking for. <laughs> oh my back. lord! It's Parnell. Yeah. All right, we're back. Well, where's I, Andrew? I, I'm right here. <laughs> I'm right here. Put that light a little brighter over there. I'm right here. There's two Andrews. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, 
<laughs> I can't, man. I fucking can't. I haven't even got a chance to introduce... You guys are bookends. <laughs> That's Burnout Holloway, guys. That's Burnout Holloway. Yeah, that's what double stuff looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Burnell, thanks for coming on. You're welcome, brother. Uh, um, you know, I keep thinking Burnell's over here, but on the screen, he's over there. <laughs> you know, we, if, I want to teach you guys. I know you're new at this. The camera's down there. You don't have to look at the screen. <laughs> um, you're supposed to look at the camera. Oh, man. Um, Bobby's I, I, looking. Bobby's Bobby, pissed. Bobby. I didn't mean it that you ate all the any pass, Bobby. You know what I mean? I can't. I, I can't even introduce my guest. <laughs> mm. Pernell Holloway, everyone. Hey, you, said it, you said it about five times. Because nobody can hear after you. Oh, look at uh, that. All right. Wow. You got to get right. a bigger lens. For there we go. Wow. Wow. Well, this is. That's crazy. nice. That's so, nice. We so look this, good. This is part of the fun of the truth with uh, Andrew and Frank. And Nothing and, but and lies Jenny. tonight. Pernell. Yes, sir. I'm fake news. Forget about anything I had scripted because this yeah, guy just blew shit out fake, of the water. Yeah, it just fell off the rail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're done. Just go, go at it. So you were the class clown because you wanted friends? You didn't have friends? I needed friends, man. I, I was never good at making friends, you know. But uh, I grew up in North New Jersey, rough city, you know what I mean? I wasn't much of a tough guy, so I had to make my own way. And my way was... Make them laugh, make you them know. Laugh. Yeah, that they keep them off you. You know what I'm saying. So you spent a lot of time in the principal's office. A lot, no, not so much the principal's office. I just spent a lot of time making the big bullies laugh a little bit to get, get them off. Get off you. Yeah, that's it. He, he's a me. he's a funny man. Thank you. you just I, seen I, him. If, if I had, he closed out a show. Man, some people are funny. No, we they rather hear me talk. <laughs> <laughs> Next week they're putting my name on the bottom. The truth, the lies with Pat Maroon. <laughs> <laughs> Little white light. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Uh, I went to the show in two hours. <laughs> uh, 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 so, uh, I, can, I can't even see right now. My eyes are going. How long have you been doing this? Longer well, than he has, I hope. Is that from all the pot you smoked, or is that from my <laughs> In the comedy world for over like 25 years, but you know, every comedian that I know, we all Stop would it. step away from it for a period of time. So I don't count that period of time that I was away. So I say 22 years I've been like at it, like working on my craft. Are, are you uh, a traveling guy? Are you, are you I've traveled guy? to some places, you know, behind comedy, strictly behind comedy, you know, like I went overseas. To do comedy, not for the troops or nothing. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the first thing my eyes. No, I was no, like, no, really? No. No, we so you are bigging that path. Oh, there from you the go. That's, a, that's what I'm talking <laughs> yeah, about. We he went overseas. He went over the bridge of Staten Island. That's why I didn't go overseas. My passport said easy pass. I thought it was the same thing. Going places. I did the loony bit too over there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, business. Gemini, right? Gemini. He's cooking. Yeah, this, uh, I swear to you that if someone doesn't give me a, a big studio to do this with these guys where right. I can have guests, That's God damn. Well, if you want to touch your ham and moved over, we'd be fine. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, we're comfortable here. We're, this is good. I'm, I'm not I'm leaving. I'm not it's cozy. We're good. I'm not leaving. I might stay here until next week's show. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> uh, uh, can you give the man some time? I've been listening to him. I think he's been terrific. <laughs> <laughs> what is I think they've heard enough. You got a phone call. What? What? Somebody heard about the marijuana. I told you my mother was watching. I told you. I didn't know. Hey, call in. Is it Michelle? Hello? Call for Michelle. She's the only one with the number. See, I told Wait, you. Wait, somebody's to... talking to you. <laughs> Michelle. It's Michelle Astor. Michelle Astor. Right, but Michelle. she's talking. Don't really be rude to her for. <laughs> I heard. I know you, you don't like her, but you got to be nice. Wait, but he's talking. <laughs> but he's talking. He's talking I'm right sorry, over. I couldn't hear you. Pat was talking over you. You were talking about marijuana. That was him. That wasn't me. <laughs> I was. I didn't say nothing. Your eyes look like an ice cream. Uh, <laughs> what's up, fellas? How are you doing, Michelle? <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Yo, Andrew, you uh, ready to get your ass whipped uh -oh. next uh, Wednesday on the <laughs> 15th or what? Or yeah. He's <laughs> into kinky stuff, but he like getting this ass whipped. <laughs> I saw her let me let me clear let me, me backtrack a little bit. Spiral Frankie, quick, get the belt look. ready. <laughs> Michelle, thank you very much. You do. Andrew, <laughs> thank you, thank you, you very know, much. I just won my pool match. It was a shutout, and now my team is in first place for the season. We won. 
Well, congratulations to your team. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah, ABA, we're, we're, Western Nassau. We're in, we're in fourth place, four four points out of first. But uh, we play tomorrow Yeah, I was night. looking at your record. You're pretty damn good. I'm a little afraid right now. Wait a minute. Time out. <laughs> so you called in to tell me that you were actually worried about me enough where you're checking all my shit. I am. That's exactly why I'm calling in. I'm, I'm somebody, bitch. There you go. Yeah, you, you, are, you are somebody. <laughs> yeah. Um, We're trying to figure it out. What, what can I do for you, Leigh? I, I appreciate it, but December 15th. What can I do for you? What do you think, she's ordering a takeout? <laughs> really? <laughs> um, I'll show. take a Big Mac and a large fry and a okay. chocolate milkshake. <laughs> I, I can't help you on that one. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Bring De it on the 15th. De That'll be my De prize for kicking your ass. December 15th, um, Dan Romano's show, The Truth With Myself and Frank. We're, we're going to be on Michelle's show, Disturbed oh. and Confused. Oh, that's a nice show. That's right. Yeah, I saw you. I watched you on yeah, it. Very, very professional, that show. Very nice, you know. I got my Thank best you. naps when you were talking, Pat, so it was good. <laughs> I can't wait to see all you guys. And after the fact, we're going to go play some pool. So, Purnell, yes. thanks to you being a little bit local, not mm -hmm. being from Henson, I'll invite you if you'd like to come out. Yeah, after, yeah, you know, back, you come, come out, watch this place in the pool December 15th. Uh, um, and it's a little support to one of her sponsors. Pat, we don't like you. I got a show that night anyway, so don't worry about it. <laughs> 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 nice. Very nice. Very nice. You got a great guest. <laughs> thank, thank, thanks for getting them riled up. I appreciate it. I, I How just, was your Thanksgiving? Good? You all had a good turkey day? Yeah. Well, it looks like yeah. not much. <laughs> gobble, gobble? Yeah, yeah I know. It, Andrew was going to say it looked like I had a good Thanksgiving. I, I was did. not. I did. Yeah, I did. I was not. I don't huh? say things like that. Yeah, cut her off. Really? Well, Michelle, some of you in the back are like, yeah, cut her off. Yeah, shut up. Cut her off. Yo, he's so mad. <laughs> Michelle, he, what are you guys doing over there? Outside. It sounds crazy. <laughs> yeah, well, we're, 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 we're trying to have a little fun over here. Yeah, trying is the key sounds word. Sounds like it. <laughs> uh, I was just about sounds to get... Sounds like a lot of fun. That's what we do. Maybe you should come on our show one day and check it out. Then we'll have Pernell call I in. I would love to. I'm waiting to be invited. <laughs> yeah, I'll call in this guy. Right? It's still your joy. Your thunder. <laughs> All right. I how was, uh, how was uh, Dominican you Republic? Well and say hello. That's hello. all I wanted we to do. You. Thanks for calling Michelle, Michelle. you're the best. Then, you know? Yeah, you're right. No, no, you're right. Cut her off. Nobody's getting paid here. <laughs> nobody's getting paid here. We're okay. Yeah, nobody Don't really likes you, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Yo, I usually don't she get hot here. That. She knows yeah, I'm getting hot. That's Pat. We should have had him sitting there. That was Frankie. Frank he was saying that. It was not Frankie. <laughs> that was not Frankie. Frankie would not uh, say that about me. But guy. I want to know that guy's name and address and phone number That's and everything. That's me. I oh, said. Oh, I'm her own. There you go. You can look him up. It won't take long. There's only one thing that pops up. Pat Moreau. Uh, <laughs> but thank you, Michelle. Right, I appreciate have a good you. Night. All right, thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you, Michelle. Yeah, she. Love that guys. Back she's to so, the man now. She's so sweet. I love it. Finish that half uh, the pint. So, <laughs> you've been all over. You like you said you've been overseas, um, and we we determined that you just want to cross the Arizona. Right. That, yeah, we didn't go very far. All right. You know? um, but you also performed at the Apollo. Yes, the Apollo. That was that was like probably one of the biggest uh, stages I've been on. The really? Apollo. Uh, thanks to a gentleman named Mr. Bob Sumner. Uh, he's very big with the uh, Def Jam comedy community. Do you still have his contact? I do. I do. In my phone right now. We don't like magicians. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that yeah, afterwards, right? Yeah, yeah, I had an interaction with him about 9 o'clock this morning. We, oh, we so, a, oh, oh, you're friendly with well, him. Well, yeah, yeah. Like, that's the thing about this business. Like, I don't just, like, call you when I want to get on a show. Or you're going to have to step know, up your act kinda, the Apollo. Keep in touch with people. Check on people. See how they're doing throughout the, you know, the whole pandemic. Like I wasn't on stage, but I would definitely in the high seat, keeping in touch. Did with you the mention right to him about your cousin Andrew? My goodness. <laughs> Listen, you get no, on the if you get on the you're gonna I'm have not. to cut a body in half or something like that. So you gotta pr practice. <laughs> that, that's gimmicks. I don't, I don't do gimmicks. I, I don't you. do gimmicks. I, I do think what you should face. do is I think what you should do is really good if you would cut 
Parnell in half on the uh, at the Apollo. And switch you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we switch you guys. Like and I was and, and bro and, <laughs> and, and play, play Michael Jackson's Black and White in the background. <laughs> switch you guys around. <laughs> Yeah, but that's how that uh, Apollo. That came must about. have been cool. You have, uh, how many people were there when you were there? Apollo? No, when you were there, when you performed. Oh, when I was there, it was flooded. It was like no standing room only. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that, <laughs> that, know, be... They had my name on the marquee. I never thought I'd see that. You know. On so how many Apollo? minutes did you do? Forty minutes. I don't know. No, no, yeah, just yeah, take that. Just take the rest of the questions. I'm gonna sit over there. I'm gonna see who's watching. I'm just gonna see who's watching. Hey, you guys, how you doing? Hey. I made it. I made it. Look, mom, I made it. I was just asking. I'm like, sorry, Pat. I was just talking about. I phone. apologize. I hey, really hey Michelle, anyway, asked Bruno, <laughs> what's up, Bruno? What uh, Bruno liked the tow truck. <laughs> Mickey Delaney, hey Mickey. Hey, the real drunk Gross. housewives of Australia. Don't you guys? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, Bruno yeah. Coppola. Hey, you, you know, look, everyone said, oh. You know her? No, yeah, I know her, yeah. I know, I'm friends, <laughs> exactly. I'm friends with her on Facebook. I haven't, I haven't got drunk with her yet. Keith but, Mallow know. says hello. Hey, Keith, what's up? I haven't got uh, drunk with her. Tara Oh, Carolyn. Oh, Corky, I appreciate you. Oh, much love. So, yeah. Uh, oh, you guys are still here? I thought I was just talking. I thought I was live on my phone. No, Pat's sorry. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can look. At, you know, I'm talking to you, right? And he's like staring at me, not realizing <laughs> I can block him out so good. Yeah. He's like, like waiting to see if I break. Nope. nope. You, you don't break me. But you're professional. You don't break me. So you performed in Atlantic City, right? You I never have, got there, right? Uh, Resorts Casino with uh, have, Jay can I, can I? Can I? Have you performed in Atlantic City? No. So I performed at the Friars Club. Because, I performed you, at the Friars Club. You and I have performed at <laughs> Atlantic City. The Friars Club yeah. definitely got Atlantic City. Atlantic City. You, you and I have performed in Atlantic City. Yes. So yeah. he doesn't know what it's like to right. be out there in Atlantic right. City. I yeah. know. If I, I had, had a gamble, losing your money. I gambled out there, yeah. But the Friars Club, right? right? Yeah. yeah. That's just, yeah we'll talk about that. Again, we'll talk about that. Now, one of the first things I ever saw you in was the SNY commercials. Yes, uh, I got. I was blessed with that. Um, went for that was like one of my favorites. I used to love the, uh, those commercials. Yeah. And we did nine versions of that commercial. Yeah, no, every, like every one of them. Yeah. Versions, so it was like a 17-hour day. You were the, the jet fit, the, the jet, jet day fan, yeah, with, yes. the, with the headband yep. on and the jet shirt. Yep. Are I, you a jet fan in real life? No, hell no. <laughs> yeah, that's the only way they can get me to put a jet no shirt on. No jet up. fan in real life, not at all. Uh, that's the only way they can get me to put a jet shirt on. Is well, I'm, I'm a jet fan, so just take it easy on me, right? Well, you know what I've been talking about since 1969. Even poor Joe don't want to show his face. Joe, name it. So, I mean, that's just the way it is. I can't help that. So we so, met, though, with the Bum Rush. Yeah, Bum Rush. Bum Rush. That's, that's how Bum we... Rush the web series. With JV I'm very and Keisha proud of that. and... Uh, JV Simmons, Dre Foreman, Dre yep. Williams. I'm just very proud of that particular project. I played a character named Rudy Shapiro. I was like a big drug kingpin, so to speak, and I had two young men that were like my sons, so to speak. And over time, the two young men, one went off to college to try to better his life, the other one stayed underneath me and was like my, my right hand in the streets. And as they grew up, uh, one became a police officer, and for some other reason, like there's a lot of backstory, but it's an excellent excellent story if you guys got time it's easily found on youtube yep it's called bum rush the web series i gotta check it we out we have three full seasons out right there and my friend here is in season two episode 12. yep season wow two. look at that suitcase guy yeah, yeah, yeah. My hand chopped season yeah. two he didn't want to give up the suitcase with the diamonds so they had to do episode what they had to do 12. and cut off his i got macheted up that, was, machete that was a great up, experience you know? man it but was it was really a great experience like that whole project was uh like you said, I heard you mention on your last show, a lot of us are, we're doing pro bono work. We're trying to get our names out there. We all want to, you know, nobody's making big money. But this year, I've actually been paid to act. So That's I've awesome. been, yeah, so as little or as much as the dollar amount is, the point is I wrote on my board about manifestation. I want to be a paid actor. And this year, that came through. You know, you know what's paid. funny? With everything I've done, you know what my first paid acting gig was? A haunted trail out in Brookhaven Amphitheater. It, it is to jump it is. out of a coffin and just mess people's mind up. There you go. No, no he did You don't really need that much talent. talent. He did it. You don't. Know? Paid acting. <laughs> so, um, I, I got to tell you, I definitely... Need more time to do Absolutely. this with you guys well, without this guy though. He, he takes it. He needs an hour by himself. <laughs> you know what? I didn't know that. Yes. I got poor Jane oh, Jones on, sitting man. out there, and she's probably like, "And you want him to keep talking?" <laughs> uh, I mean, I, it's, I, I, I understand. That's it's like, but he just it doesn't stop. That's why people don't like when a guy like him walks in the comedy club. Hey, let me get five minutes. That's yeah, never no, five no, minutes. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, but yeah. now I know. I never go over my time. <laughs> 
Never, never You're about done. 17 minutes past your time <laughs> right. already. Right. Every other Listen, I think you up, guys are terrific. Every and other I, think I, I, I really right. dress up the show. So, you um, guys are unbelievable. We're going to go to... Especially <laughs> Frank. He doesn't shut up, Frank. I mean, right. he's really a great co-host. <laughs> Does nothing. He's almost like Sleepy Joe. But anyway... <laughs> Well, well, you, I told you I liked him. Remember, did, I told you we're a great guy. Did, did you see him? There's no politics. Well, no, I'm not politics no politics. This is all about your show. Right. <laughs> so, but before I go to commercial time. break, I need to talk to you. I want to guys. I want to give you guys the opportunity to let people know where you're going. Where we? Can well, I don't even know where I'm going. Well, when, if you're funny enough, you'll start getting booked and understand oh, what this. I'm going is. home after here. So Pernel, I'm going home after Pernel, here. Pernel, where, where, what are you doing next? <laughs> in a that's I'm 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 100 honest. Like throughout this pandemic, my comedy had kind of slowed down a little bit because there was a lot of things shut down and yeah. reopening. Do you wear masks? No masks. Vaccinate. No. So I kind of, kind of stayed away from the comedy. Focused on acting. Right now, I'm in a beautiful series called Juicy. Yeah, I was gonna bring that up. A series yeah. which is also on YouTube, very easily accessible. They're into their fifth season. I joined them in season three. They asked me to come back for season four, and then again for season five. So it's a blessing. I play federal agent Frank Bishop on that show, and the same people who shoot that show, they actually offered me an opportunity to film a comedy special, which I did about nice. three weeks ago. So that's they're editing all of the footage from that, and that's going to be coming out soon. Nice. Yeah, we're just trying to, you know. Uh, now you don't wear those sweatpants that say "juicy" on the back. No, I wanted, to, I wanted to get a pair though for you, Big Daddy. I know you like them, Big Daddy. <laughs> It's juicy. <laughs> the show just took a freaking left turn, man. Oh, man it's crazy. Brunel, um, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> with, with the way you are, you said you haven't been into a lot of comedy. Are you, you still interested? You still no, no, I still do stand up. I did a show just the other night. Okay. Uh, it was, a, it was a, a smoke, right? Smoke, paint, laugh, and chill. And we had a beautiful time. It was a nice, you know. He was hanging about, out in the back of somebody's house. Don't, yeah, don't mention smoke. <laughs> last, last time we mentioned smoke, the phone rang. Oh, wow. Okay. So, let me stop. So, okay. you know, um, I have something coming up, December 23rd. Okay. It, it's, it's a special that we're doing. Okay. Um, and sitting here talking to you, you're an awesome guy. Thank you're you. funny as hell. That. Thank you. I, I like the, what you two fools got sure, going on. Yes, my man. Um, would you like to participate in this event here? It's here. It's, it's here December twenty third. It's I, a pay per view I event. Think I'll be if you need time, I don't want to throw you in a spot. Yeah. If you have to think about right, because it, because it's free pro bono. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why. So I let me just see. Paying me five hundred. Yeah, you get five hundred. We're gonna feed you, Parnell. We got we got a catered from Village. Yeah, Village. I'm gonna give you any pasta. Ironically, though, that's the day I got married. That's my wedding anniversary. Oh, there you go. We're not together anymore. but We never got divorced either. So it's like my my anniversary is the twenty third. She's out there. Maybe I'll right come that, no, no, that's, oh. that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know the sound goes out to that TV. I know, she, right. was right. 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 she was at the yeah. wedding. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, listen. Listen, we're, we're, we're going to do some good that night. been with me through two other missions. <laughs> oh, shit. She's a good mission. We're, nah, we're going to, uh, well, <laughs> next, next time we get together, we're going to have some Troy Nello cigars, because I know you're, you, Nella, you, right. you're, you're a big Shapiro, cigar guy. my character was. I, 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 I heard you're a big cigar guy. The other stuff. Yeah. Um, we're going to take a commercial break. Right, we'll, right, we'll, 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 we'll be right back. <laughs> Get out. Coming back to the Pat Marone show. We appreciate you guys hanging with us all this time. So I just want to take a minute. I couldn't get it in there. I had no breathing room whatsoever. I barely had sitting room, as you saw. So we're going to wrap this up. And I just want to mention to you, December 23rd is a pay-per-view event. And as you guys just heard, we are probably close, 95% there, are locking Pernell Holloway into this great event. December 23rd, the pay-per-view event. 
The link is up. You can go to Strong Island Television, scroll all the way down the bottom, and you'll find a link. You can go ahead and click that now. Actually, the more clicks that we get on that now, probably the, the bigger and better show that we can produce. And we're going to have in-studio opportunities, too, $15 to be in studio. So if yes. you guys want to come through, well, yeah. I know we got some sold already, but they're going to go quick. So it's yes. going to be a good night. It's going to be good. We, we, we uh, partnered up with, uh, of course, uh, State Farm, Ken Cartwright, and the Village Idiot of Oakdale is going to be providing food for us that night. Uh, Tortorello, uh, Torinello Cigars are going to be providing some cigars for us and sent something out to a winner of a contest we're going to do of anyone who sends in a picture smoking or holding one of their cigars. Um, I, I don't even have enough time to go into what I want. This guy's walking around holding himself. Um, he walks out. This, I, I can't say enough. Thank you to Jane Jones. Jane, I'm sorry for what you had to deal with here. Um, thank you to Jane for coming on. Pat Marone, you're the best. Um, all the joking aside, you're awesome, brother. Thank you. Uh, Pernell Holloway. Yo, you're, you're part of this, man. You're going to deal with us because this is what we do. And when I'm done coming out there, I'm going to twist his mind a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to twist his mind. Bobby, Max, thank you so much for helping out this week. Frank. As always, bro. You're the brother. I appreciate you. Until next week when we do this again, it's Andrew Have a good night, everybody. and Thanks. Frank. <laughs>